Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome back. How are you today? Hello, hello, Ala. Hello, Vladimir. Hello, Gladys. Hello, William. Hello, Anna. Hello, Angel. Hello, teacher. Back in action. How are you, Marvin? Hello, Veronica. Yes, how are you, Lydia? How are you, Elizabeth Vasquez? Hi, Ceci. Hello, Doris. Hi, Roberto. Hello, Leticia. How are you guys? Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. Se me escucha bien, no se me escucha cortado. Se escucha cortado. All right, I like that, I like that. Okay, uh, we're going to get started. Alguien me puede decir qué se acuerdan de la clase de ayer, qué estuvimos practicando ayer, qué se acuerdan? Quiero ver. ¿Quién se acuerda de lo que estuvimos viendo ayer? Que levante la mano, que levante la mano. Yes, Angel levantó la mano. Tell me, Angel, ¿qué se acuerda de lo que vimos ayer? No estuve presente en la clase porque tuve problemas técnicos, pero revisé que se habló de las partes de la casa. That is correct. Lo del apartamento, lo de la casa. Okay, so today we're going to get started and we're going to be moving on on the following section. We're going to be looking at, let me open my platform real quick. All right, uh, tell me, vamos a hacer una práctica rapidita. Tell me, let me see, let me see. Um, Carlos Somoza, what do you have in your house? What do you have in your house? ¿Qué tiene en su well, casa? My house has... For bedroom, okay. Through bat, bathroom. That's right. In the yard, uh, has a pool. You have a pool. Mm. Nice. In the bedroom, I have a this. Nice. Uh, a TV, uh, a AC, and uh, in the kitchen, the refrigerator, the microwave. All right. Okay. Good. Very good. Applause. Mm -hmm. For the man, good job, Mr. Carlos Samosa. All right, guys, now today we're gonna go ahead and get started and we're going to be looking at the next section, which is section number 2.3, Simple Presence, Short Answers and Conversations. My new apartment. Uh, yesterday, you were supposed to write here a, a little conversation related to this information. ¿Todos terminaron esta sección ayer, 2.3? ¿La terminamos ayer, 2.3? No, ok, vamos a practicar la conversación. On Lakeview Drive. Oh, nice. Does it have a view? Yes, it... Okay, so yesterday we were practicing this conversation. Everybody, please listen and repeat. Listen and repeat. Guess what? I have a new apartment. That's great. That's great. What's it like? What? What's it like? What's it like? What's it like? 
It's really beautiful. It's really beautiful. Is it very big? Is it very big? Well, it has a big living room. Well, well it, it has a big, big living room. room. A small bedroom. A small bedroom. A small bedroom. A bathroom. A bathroom. A bathroom. And a kitchen. And a kitchen. Where is it? Where, Where is, is it? it? On Lakeview Drive. On Lakeview Drive. Oh, nice. Oh nice. oh, nice. Does it have a view? Does, does it have, have a view? view? Yes, it does. Yes, yes, yes it, it, does. it does. It has a great view. It has it a, a great view. view. Of it's another apartment building. Of another of apartment, apartment, apartment building. building. Okay, yeah. we're going to work in pairs and we're going to practice this conversation as a review. Vamos a repasar esta conversación. La vimos ayer, vamos a hacer un pequeño repaso en parejas. Are you ready? Yes, ready. I said, are you ready, ladies and gentlemen? Apartment. All right, let's make it happen. Let's do it. Let's make it happen. Let's go get it. Come back with it. Don't forget it. Let me get it one more time for the bottle of wine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y nos fuimos. Let's go, everybody. I do need it. I do. He said he does. You in another apartment building. Okay. Then. Okay. Oh, you. Oh, you. Sí. Guess what? Guess what? I... I have a new apartment. That way. What? What is like? It's really beautiful. Is it very big? Well, it has a big living room, a small bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Where is this? On Lakeview Drive. Oh, nice. Does it, does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. No sé. Y ahora cambiamos, seguimos o cómo? Oh, creo que hay, hay más, más stories. Hello. Hola. Hola. Hello. Estamos esperando. Hello. <laughs> ah. 
No nos habíamos... Bueno, yo no me había dado cuenta de eso, lo dije, hello, una voz extraña ahí. <risa> Vaya, entonces... Uh, yes, it does. It have a great view of another apartment building. Ok. Uy, se me perdió. Oh, yo soy linda, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, sí. Guess what? I had a new apartment. That's great. What is it like? It's really beautiful. Is it very big? Well, it had a big living room, a small bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Where is it? On Lakeview Drive. Oh, nice. Does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Okay. Le damos otra vez. Okay. Me comienzo yo ahora. Eh, guess what? I have a new apartment. That's great. What is it like? It's really beautiful. Is it very big? Well, it's a big living room and a small bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. What is it? On Lake Lakeview Drive. Oh, nice. That is had a view. Ay, perdón. Yes, it does. It have a great view of another apartment apartment building. Okay. Okay. Guess what? I I had a new apartment. That's great. What is uh, what is it like? It's really beautiful. It's a very big. Well, it has a big living room, a small bedroom. A bathroom and a kitchen. Where is it? On Lakeview Drive. Oh, nice. Does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Okay. Ya nos van a sacar. Sí. <laughs> sí. Hay un gusto, hombre. Bueno, ahí estamos. All right, all right. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Let me have two volunteers, please. Two volunteers at this moment. Let me have two volunteers, please. Ceci, one volunteer. Let me have another volunteer. One more volunteer. Ceci and Ada Ramirez. Ceci and Ada Ramirez are the two volunteers. Okay. All right, Ceci, you are going to be uh, Linda, and Ada, you are going to be Chris. Action. Guess what? I have a new apartment. Voy yo? Yes. But, me escucha. That's great. What is like? It's really beautiful. It is very big. Well, it has. A, it is or is it? Is it very big? Uh huh, that's right. Is it very big? Well, it has a big living room, a small bedroom, a bathroom, a kitchen. Where is it? Oh, like you drive. Oh, nice. Does it have a view? Yes, it does. I have a great view of another apartment building. <laughs> All right. Good job, girls. Applause for the ladies. Applause, applause. <laughs> All right. Good job, ladies and gentlemen. Now, what I want you to do, guys, is over here, no sé si lo hicieron ayer, 
pero necesito que aquí, en esta parte, ah, ok, veo que ya la María ya lo hizo. Ok, guess what? I have a new house. Ok, van a hacer un, un, un pequeño diálogo similar a ese acá en el discussion forum. Right? Eso les quedó de tarea ayer. Si no lo han hecho, por favor, háganlo. Now we are going to be looking at knowledge check. Lo vamos a hacer juntos. Instructions. Complete the conversations and select the option that completes the two blank fields in each sentence or question. Instrucciones. Complete la conversación. Seleccione con que completa los dos campos en blanco en cada oración o pregunta. Así que esto lo van a hacer con dos respuestas. Vamos a hacer la primera juntos. De ahí les voy a dar unos cinco minutos o diez minutos para que hagan las otras ustedes. Number one. Linda. Do you lives? Está incorrecto. Does you lives? Incorrecto. Do you live in an apartment? Is correct. Linda, does you live in an apartment? Incorrect. La única posible es, do you live? Do you have any questions? Okay, you have 10 minutes. 10 minutes to complete this activity. 10 minutes to complete this activity. 10 minutos. Para completar esta parte, Knowledge Check 2.4, Knowledge Check 2.4, tiene 10 minutos para completarlo y empezamos el cronómetro. 10 minutos y de allí lo chequeamos juntos. Ready, action. Do Linda, do you like? Mm -hmm. No, I, I do.
All right, all right. Mario Moran, raise your hand. What is your question, Mario? Let me know. Okay. Con respecto al auxiliar y al verbo. Ajá. Okay. Este, se usa das para tercera persona. That's right. Okay. Como en tercera persona, el verbo face tendría que ser has o o el mismo das lo revierte a hey. No, el, el das es el que representa el tercer persona en la en la pregunta. Por ejemplo, si yo te digo, eh, ¿tiene carro tu papá? Does your father have a car? Y tú me respondes, yes, he does o no, he doesn't. O en la oración completa, he has a car. So, si usas el does, ya no necesitas poner has, porque ya está en tercer persona. Para responder, tendría que ya dejar el, en la respuesta larga lo que es el... el, el Correcto. El, el, ya en la respuesta larga ah. sería he has a car. He has a car. Ok. Mm -hmm. Thank you, teacher. All right, all right. Tienen cuatro minutos. Cuatro minutos.
right, time's up, time's up, time's up. Let me have the first volunteer. I want you to do the next one, Chris. Let me have Vladimir, Chris. Vladimir, Chris. Okay. Abigail, Chris. Abigail, Chris. I I don't I, I don't I live in the house. Very good. No, I don't. I live in a house. Thank you. Carla, Linda, the next one, please. Does it have a yard? Excellent. Does it have a yard is correct. Angel, continue, please. Chris. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. It's correct. Thank you, Angel. Edu Hernandez, continue, please. Uh, so nice. Do you live alone? Do you live alone? Is correct. The next one, please, for me, Elmer Sixko. Espérame, eh, teacher, que me he perdido ahorita llena por estar viendo los otros. Eh, ¿En, en cuál vamos? Linda. Oh, Chris, Chris. Linda ya le hicimos. Chris. Chris, Chris, no, no hay, verdad, no, no hay, no hay, don't, I, I live with my family. Very good, no, I don't, I live with my family, that's right. Continue, please, for me, Gladys Merino, Linda, Gladys Merino, Linda. All right, Isaías González, Linda. Isaías González, Linda. I, I do. I do have. Mm -mm. That sounds nice. Estamos haciendo esta. That sounds okay. nice. Teacher, esa, esa parte, esa oración casi no la logré entender. El duck song nice, ¿qué, ¿qué es? Eso suena bien, porque ella le dice, ah, okay. vive sola, y ella, 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 ella le pregunta, ah. ¿vives solo? Ella le, él le contesta, no, vivo con mi familia. Y le dice ella, Correcto. ah, eso suena bueno. ¿Tienes hermanos mm. o hermanas? Uh -huh. Okay. Entonces sería that's how, ¿verdad? That sounds nice. Uh -huh. Y la respuesta ahí sería that's how. Mm -mm. Es you, ok. Es do how. Do how. You have how do you have mm -hmm. any brothers or sisters thank you okay. all right now we're gonna move on to the next one chris chris let me have lydia arevalo chris hola hi lydia hi. chris Yes. Yes, I do. I have four sisters. Very good. Yes, I do. I have four sisters. Four sisters. That's correct. Yes, I do. I have four sisters. All right. The next one, Elizabeth Vasquez. Elizabeth Vasquez. 
Elizabeth Vasquez. Continue, please. Mm -hmm. Elizabeth Vasquez. Hi, Elizabeth. Can you do the next one, please? Linda? Okay. Really? Does your house have many bedrooms? Very good. Does your house have many bedrooms? Does your house have many bedrooms is correct. Thank you. The next one is Doris. Doris. I want you to do Chris. Doris. Chris. Yes, I do. I mm -hmm. really look. I'm. Mm -hmm. Estamos con Chris. En esta. Chris. En esta. Chris. Después de Linda. Ah, okay. Esa fue la que contesté, creo. No, 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 no. no. Okay. Yes. It does. It has four. Excellent. Yes, it does. It has four. Thank you so much. Now, Veronica, the next one, Linda. Okay. Veronica. Would you, Sarita, do? Do have. Very good. Do you have? Do you have? Your own bedroom. Your own bedroom. Thank you. Correct, Veronica. Let me have Jesse, the last one. I yes. do. Jesse, the last one. I do. Yes, I do. I'm really lucky. Let's check. All right, 34 out of 34. Good job, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, let's move on, and we're going to be looking at section 2.5, Lesson Objectives. By the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for furniture and other household items. Al final de esta clase, ustedes aprenderán vocabulario sobre muebles y otros artículos para el hogar. Let's listen, please. We're going to put everybody on mute so that you guys can listen, please. If you have any questions, please raise your hand. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn vocabulary for furniture and other household items. Let's get started by listening and repeating the vocabulary. Armchairs. Stove. Curtains, pictures, clock, bed, table, coffee table, microwave oven, refrigerator, lamps, sofa, desk, bookcase, dresser, chairs, Mirror, rug, television. Other vocabulary that is important to understand is kitchen, dining room, living room, bedroom. And now let's practice using the vocabulary that we just heard by making statements about your kitchen, dining room, living room, and bedroom. For example, my living room has a sofa, a rug, and a television. My dining room has 
After you complete this exercise, please share your work in our discussion forums. Ok, now lo que vamos a hacer es, vamos a usar este vocabulario. Me van a dar 10 oraciones utilizando esta estructura. My living room, mi sala, has a sofa, tiene un sofá, a rug, una carpeta, and a television, y una televisión. My dining room, mi comedor, has, tiene, uh, a table, chairs, etc. You're going to give me 10 examples. 10 ejemplos acá, con número, y después lo van a subir a la discussion forum. Tienen 10 minutos, empezando ya.
All right, all right. Tenemos tres minutos. Tres minutos. All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, ¿cómo vamos? ¿Ya terminamos o necesitamos más tiempo? Tiempo. Unos cinco minutos más. Ok, five more minutes.
All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen. ¿Cómo vamos? ¿Cómo vamos? Finished? All right, let us continue. If you're not finished, le queda de tarea. Si no ha terminado, le queda de tarea. All right, let's go back and we're going to be going on to the next activity, which is section 2.7, Lesson Objectives. By the end of this class, you will learn how to form statements with there is and there are. Also, how to use some, no, and any when referring to a different object. Al final de esta clase, aprenderán cómo formar oraciones con there is y there are. También, cómo usar some, no, y any. Primer, the bomb. And, y cuando nos referimos a diferentes objetos. All right, so we're going to be looking at this video using there is y there are. There is es para singular, there are es para plural. Listen, please. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to form statements with there is and there are. Also, how to use some, no, and any when referring to different objects. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, There Aren't Any Chairs. This conversation illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's listen and practice the conversation. This apartment is great. Thanks, I love it, but I really need some furniture. What do you need? Oh, I need lots of things. There are some chairs in the kitchen but there isn't a table. And there's no sofa here in the living room. And there aren't any chairs. There's only this lamp. So let's go shopping next weekend. Now, let's learn how to use there is and there are. I would like to start by demonstrating the examples on this chart. There's a bed in the bedroom. There's no sofa in the bedroom. There isn't a table in the kitchen. There are some chairs in the kitchen. There are no chairs in the living room. There aren't any chairs in the living room. There's equals there is. To better understand how to form this statement, I would like to write some formulas. For singular objects, there plus is or isn't plus a that's the article A, or no, plus complement. For plural objects, there plus are or aren't, plus some or any or no, plus some kind of complement. So let's take a look at the first example on the left-hand side of this chart. There's a bed in the bedroom. This is a singular object, so we're going to follow the formula there plus is or isn't plus a or no plus some kind of complement. So in this case, we use there, then the verb to be is, is. Um, on the example is contracted, as you can see, there's. We will use the article a. The complement is bad in the bedroom. We're going to do something similar with the next example. There's no sofa in the bedroom. At the beginning of our sentence, we have there. The verb to be is is. Once again, on the example is contracted. Then we will use the article a because we're talking about a singular object. Finally, we have the complement. Sofa in the bedroom. The last example, there isn't a table in the kitchen. At the beginning of our sentence, we use there. The verb to be is isn't because we're expressing something negative. Then we use the article A because we're talking about a singular object. Finally, we have the complement. 
table in the kitchen. Now let's look at the right hand side of this chart. For these examples we're going to talk about plural objects. So we need that formula. There plus are or aren't plus some or any or no plus some kind of complements. Now let's uh, look at the first example on the right hand side of the chart. There are some chairs in the kitchen. At the beginning of our sentence we use there. After that the verb to be are. Next we use some. It's important to mention that we will use some whenever we're making positive statements. We can't say any, for example. Finally, we have the complement, chairs, in the kitchen. Our next example, there are no chairs in the living room. At the beginning of our sentence, we use there. After that, the verb to be are. Next, we're going to use no. Notice that we will use this expression whenever we're expressing something negative. And you can also say aren't any as well. Either one is correct. All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to stop right here because I have to go. So I would like for you to please continue with the activities on the platform and you can advance as much as possible. All right, and we will see you tomorrow. Good night, guys. Bye bye. Enjoy your night. Good night. See you. Take care. Bye.